That's a good thing I'm such a handsome devil. I know. Damn. I gotta have to get my looks from somewhere. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the Deacon, and I'm sitting here in the studio. Uh, we got a couple guests here in the studio. Welcome to what is it? Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, in the studio we have your father-in-law, my father-in-law, Henry the <laughs> Third. And behind me I have your lovely wife and my beautiful daughter. <laughs> Just what? keep oh, talking. Going? Yeah. Um, we are doing our test run for okay. the. Okay, does this work? Keep going. Um, for our go live on Facebook. So we are just trying to figure out the levels of our mics and, and music. And um, one thing that you need to do, babe, when you do the um, the intro before you start speaking. Mics on is turn the volume all the way down out here so it doesn't feed back. So I think it might. Yeah, I'm getting a buzz after everything you say. Oh, really? Well, I'm fixing yeah. that now. Well, he, it's the, I'm really hot. I can see the levels over here. Yeah. So my voice is really hot on the microphone. He's adjusting those levels now. It might work now. Does that sound a little bit better? That's better, yeah. Okay. Keep, go Keep talking. Um,. So, uh, this is the first time Dad's up in the studio tonight. Yeah, this is my debut day. I uh, know. Dad's microphone's a little hot, I see. Um, and we've got a whole new... I'm looking at the okay. mod modulars up, or the thingies over there. Um, got a whole new setup here. I got a comfy new spot on the couch. No cameras on me. Dad's sitting in the chair. I'm very impressed. I know, right? Very impressed. I know. I mean, last yeah. time I was up in this place, uh, what is this, the Queens Queen City? Queen City Studio. Queen City Studio. Last time I was up here. Time out. We're good? Got it. Okay. Got it. Yep. Good. I had to change the compression on him and you as well, so okay. we're good. All right, good. All right, so now did you did you hear, though, what I said with the music? Make sure that whenever you, before you start to talk... That you turn down the music out here so it doesn't go through your mic again. I, I fade it out as I as I talk. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. All right. Very good. Yeah, I fade it out as I talk. And then, you know, as soon as I talk, I, I fade it out. And then, so there's going to be a repeat, but it's so small. It's like less than five seconds. Yeah. And then I can go. Yeah. Whatever. I just want it with my Facebook Live, I want them to hear your, your intro. Mm-hmm. All right, so you tell me, you want me to count you down? See how complicated this is? My God. Mm -hmm. oh Are my you ready? Goodness. Hey guys, it's the Deacon. Welcome to another edition of Deacon Live. My name is the Deacon. You're listening to Prophet Radio. And uh, we survived. What is today? What is today? Wednesday. Wednesday. And uh, I have actually uh, some people here in the studio with me here on a Wednesday afternoon, evening. I don't know what you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, so over to my far right is... Your father-in-law. My father-in-law. <laughs> And my name is your father-in-law. <laughs> right. <laughs> and over to my far, far right, mm -hmm. I have... Me, your wife. My daughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's, she's not doing it. She's not talking. Damn, I'm going to make some good-looking kids. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, give us a call here at the station at 407-448-8800. Text us live at any time at 407-448-8800. Uh, we'll put your stuff on the air. And uh, I had a busy day today. Uh, myself, I, I took some some personal time for myself uh, to uh, to do some house chores here around the property, around the uh, Columbine. Oh, I don't want to say Columbine. That's that's bad. Uh, w- what? No? You had a question? No, I just didn't want to be on the camera. Okay. You know, <laughs> I want my mother to see me drinking a beer. Um, so I took some time to myself, and uh, I'd done some work around here at the uh, at the station. And I got a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of feedback from uh, people that. Uh, have you ever, uh, Mr. Henry? Have you ever used a uh, paint sprayer before? Yes, I have. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, it was my first job. I used a paint sprayer at 16 years old, spraying swimming pool pumps and circulators for oil burners. I have no. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I have no idea what that Suffice is. Suffices to say, yes, I okay. did. I have. And uh, were they like the the complicated stuff that they have today, or they uh, explain like the the sprayers that? Well, you had a compressor hose that came out of the ceiling and it hung down. Right. And we had this gun with a can on the bottom. And whatever color paint you wanted to spray, you filled up that can with that paint. You It was a push up and twist, and the things would lock on there. And then when you pulled the trigger on the gun, and you just adjusted your spray with the nozzle as you normally would on a regular one. What year was this? This was 1966. So was there lead paint or anything involved with oh, that? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, <laughs> and one of the things, were, and, and you know, most of us that worked in the spray booth, we didn't wear masks or anything. And we used to spray these that's tanks. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's how I got like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we used to spray the inside of these um, cast uh, pieces that would, we would use to put the pumps together and the cir- circulators, we would spray them with zinc chromate. Right. And that stuff is deadly. It's like a yellow, it would protect rust. It kept uh, the uh, cast iron from rusting. So uh, I was outside today and spraying the barn. So how did I do today? Oh, man, man. I was, I was going to tell you. You did an awesome job. I, you know, I... Uh, Hell yeah! Awesome, <laughs> <laughs> an awesome job. I know. I, was, I, I I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was uh, horses of different colors. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I was telling my 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 wife, I was like, going, you know, your dad's gonna come over here, and he's the first thing I was about was like, hell yeah, hell yeah, that looks hell good. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing, all right, nothing all right. at all. And uh, another I thing, used to say that on cousin Brucey's show, he didn't mind. No. No, that was fine. So uh, another thing that um, so we're in the middle of the week here, and uh, I didn't ask you how uh, did you have a good Easter? You know, in April, anything exciting happening? Well, I actually I spent my Easter here with you guys, right? And my darling daughter made us a delicious ham dinner, mm-hmm. of which, by the way, I have no more ham left. I don't expect you have any left either. Oh no! But, I mean, she gave me plenty to take home. It was awesome. The scalloped potatoes were fantastic, and everything else. So it was just top shelf, you know. The only thing I was missing was my Cadbury eggs. <laughs> what do you mean Cadbury eggs? Oh man, I love those things. Do you really? Oh yeah, I bought a six pack of them the other day. You, well, before Easter. Now, do you know that the the Cadbury, the Cadbury eggs were were originally made in England. And that's the Cadbury brand and they sold it Hershey actually bought the Cadbury brand. You know, it sounds like it would come from England because you know you hear Cadbury and remember the Canterbury tales. Well, they were, you know, that they were written right, in sure. England. Right. Let's kill a rabbit. Yeah. And um, but Hershey bought the Cadbury and changed the whole entire formula for the Cadbury eggs, I think last year or the year before. So, if your Cadbury eggs are not tasting the same, it's because Hershey has stuck their their meddling fingers because in 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 Europe the you know the the milk is not pasteurized and all the the process that goes through with m- making Cadbury eggs or making chocolate I should say yeah well you know Belgium 
and, and Belgian chocolate is probably the best chocolate you can get, and that and that's right next to just over the uh, little bit over the ba- the what do you call that the the bath or uh, the pond? Stri- the, well, no, no, not the, we're the, we're on the other side of the pond. This is the Eng- the English Channel, Channel. Channel. English Channel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? the other side of the English Channel. I mean, that's you know, it's easy to get the recipe. Just send, row, send somebody row over there. Write it down, bring it back to uh, England, and you got Belgian chocolate. But the sad part is that that <laughs> not nobody, anymore. No, but a lot, yeah, a lot of people don't know that the Cadbury eggs that they're buying now at Walmart, you know, oh, they used to be uh, three dollars a, a an egg, and now they're fifty cents. Well, now you know. Mm. Well, they were good. I mean, you can get cream eggs or you can get caramel eggs. I like the cream eggs. <laughs> have you seen? I'm have just you, a cream kind of guy. <laughs> have you seen the the recipes on Facebook and and scrolling through and all the stuff you can do with Cadbury eggs and put them on pizzas and put them on what? Yeah. Hey, do you have your Do you have your cell phone hooked up for people to call in? Uh, I don't have my cell phone at all up here. Uh oh, it's oh, downstairs man. charging. Total Why? failure. Sorry, Deb. Why does she want to call in? She's like. How can I call in and say hi from Florida? Well, who, who was that? A, a woman, I, uh, Henry and I used to work with. Well, oh. If you want to take two seconds and run downstairs, it takes two seconds for me to plug it back in. Are you going to take my Facebook Live for me? Um, That's yeah. asking them to yeah. do two things at once. Yeah. I can Five cho- things at once. Oh, boy. I, I can chew. We're, tr- we're in trouble now. I know. And I can chew I can bubble gum and, and do the things at the same time. It's, it's there's, a big, there's a big mosquito here flying around. Yeah, I know. It's well, go this... Um, am I doing... Hi, everybody. Hold on one <laughs> sec. Here we go. We're going to do... There you go. Million dollar shot right here. Oof. Yeah. So, um, Cadbury eggs. Chocolate and stuff. So, um... Yeah, well, you know, when I was a kid, we... The big thing was the chocolate bunny. Uh, and why they picked a bunny? I don't know. What, what? Where did the bunny come from? You know, is how did that represent I, Easter? I don't know. You know, there's a whole thing about Jesus Christ. I mean, when you kill when you kill a bunny, does it come back to life? Yeah. No. No, not of <laughs> mice and men. If you ever <laughs> read that, yeah. I didn't know they killed the bunny in, in that uh, novel. No, mice and men. I killed the bunny. Oh, George, I killed the bunny. I oh. killed the bunny. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, and you're a teacher. You're a professor. Well, I, I didn't. You know, I mean, I, I didn't re- research bunnies, <laughs> but I always wondered why did Easter get stuck with bunnies? <laughs> I think. Or it's why a- did bunnies get? St- well, actually, Easter's a good thing to get stuck with, but uh, right. bunnies, I don't know. Right. So anyway, um, I was going to tell you what we had an experience when I was growing up. Um, you know, my mom would always make three baskets: uh, one for me, one for my brother, and one for my dad. Right. And she always got us these big, big chocolate bunnies and set them in the middle of the the baskets. Well, she did that one year, and um, I put them on the coffee table in the in the living room. Well, by the time we woke up in the morning, our dog Lady had eaten. All three of the <laughs> chocolate bunnies, that, get foil and all. That's not good. Oh, I didn't want to eat those kisses that came out of her ass. <laughs> yeah, I think my mom and dad, because uh, I'm an only child, so they used to they used to <laughs> they used to hide the eggs in the living room, and uh, you know they they were obvious. You know yeah. we had like a well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, you know. It's in the living room, and the, you know, there's a, two end tables, a coffee table, and then like three or four a couch and and two wing back chairs. So how do you hide a dozen eggs in that area? <laughs> One behind each leg. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so I, you know, my mom would go, "Okay, go get go go find the eggs," and I go. You know, after like two or three years of doing this, you know, from seven to ten years old, I'm like going. Here it is, you know, I'm walking around. Here's the other one. Same spot. Same spot. But now pe- now parents and people are doing this whole um the like the the mom will hide 12 eggs and the dad will hide 12 eggs and they'll, they'll put their names or an initial on them. And it's a com- Whoever hid them? Yeah, it's a competition between the mom and the dad with the kids. 
So what do you do? You know, and they they have a bet like the mom. Yeah, and you dad. don't want to find too many of mom's eggs and leave dad out. You right. Know, you got to try and play it equal. Right. So the, the the dad will hide his eggs, and he's like going, "Oh, these are the best places to hide them." And then the mom will go, "These are the best places to hide them." And they send the kids out to get them, and then all right, you know, you got sixty minutes. Go, boom. And they put wagers on it. You know, you have to clean your room if you don't find this or, you know, this. Oh, they goodness. put wagers. What a way to spoil Easter. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the kids would come back and they go, all right, 60 minutes. All right, what do you got? And they're like going, I got five of dad's eggs and two of mom's eggs. And dad would go, yes. So <laughs> it was just crazy stuff. Well, well, we weren't egg hunters. And my mother neither my mother nor my father were egg hiders we didn't start that practice until my wife got a hold of easter and uh, she made she made my daughter who's here and and my son henry she made them find eggs but the problem with her was she wouldn't remember where she hid all the eggs <laughs> and they were really i mean hard-boiled there eggs a couple of years that we felt like all of a sudden we started smelling something. Oh, yeah, 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 right, right. Because <laughs> like, she hit the real eggs, not the fake eggs with the right, Indians. Right, right. All right, stick around. We'll be right back. Uh, we're going to take a little break. Uh, you're listening to the Deacon Live right here on Proper Radio. Can you really see me right there? No. Did you, see, did you stop Facebook Live? No, Facebook Live is still oh. going. <clears throat> Yeah, that is a good idea, something to treat yourself to. What's that? A new cooler. I know. The top of that. Beatrice thing. is awesome. <laughs> Do you need one? Uh, no, no, no. I, I just I keep it over here because I yeah. I don't want it on the thing. Here, this is. Is that me? <clears throat> what was it? Was it at you? I mean, no. Yes, it was. No, it was sitting here the whole time. Yes, now, now, I know. does it, it does it you? Does it play a commercial? What does it do during this time? Music. Nothing. Oh. I'm done. Oh, oh, oh okay, dead? okay. Mm -hmm. Shows that. Oh, so well, I can. Why don't you uh, pick some, yeah, you can take your. That's what I'm saying. Oh, this okay. This is a break. It's recorded. Oh, okay, good. Now the, I, ca I the camera and everything's live. Huh? I see you guys. I thought that so, went pretty well. Now who's who's calling? Uh, do you have your phone hooked up? Yes, I'm getting ready to um, make sure that it records. So hold okay, on. Okay, Deb, you're, Deb, you're gonna have to. Bear with me for one second. She can go okay, in. Deb, are you? Well, we're we're giving it a second here to catch up. But if you still want to call in, I'm gonna be BR five four nine. Type back if you want to uh, call in. I got it. You want to call? It? Yep. And you have her call? Oh. Sure, well, anyone yeah. can call right now. Well, hold on. Let's go back live on the air. Is she wanting to call? I don't know. She said, see you guys shut down, then redo. I don't know. I, I, I couldn't handle that up and down, up and down. What? I Take a whiz. I was trying to figure out a way to put a... One of the, my you need one of those balls. funnel pipes going out the... Well, that goes right out the window. Though. Oh, this one here? Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you were to pull that off, it's just an open space that is, goes into the, the rafters. Oh, well, well, you can't piss in there. No. Well, that's what he said. If you take that off, it's a window. You can just... Well, I mean, it, he's thought about putting it in there. It's where it kind of goes. Because this is... This right here is right above his tool room. Um, This right here? Over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he could just lengthen the pipe or put a Y in it and one from upstairs and one, from here, one yeah. where it is. Yeah. What, what time is it, Amy? I don't know. It's 9.05. Damn. What, the, what, do you guys eat dinner? What, do you eat it in bed? We usually eat dinner right before we go to bed. Whew. Do you need to eat? I ha well, I, I ate, I ate, uh, I ate good this morning before I, and I ate a late breakfast. Oh, and by the way, I got uh, Jimmy Dean's stuffed 
Oh, you got hash the ones browns? that were stuffed hash browns? Yep, and there's, there's three different kinds. I was going to buy you a box, but, you know, they're not, they're not cheap. Need, I don't need those. There's, and there's like four in the box, and they're not cheap. And I didn't know, like I got bacon and veggies. And it had onions and um, peppers in it. You know, we can do a cooking show up here if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to change the position of the camera. Good. Because it's take number five. Well, I, you were still, like, Facebook Live, so. Does she want to call in? Uh, text me your their number to call in. 407-448-8800. Okay. I'm going to put it in the... Put it in there. Four... Oh, seven. Give me a little spray. You spray it. Oh. Four, four, yeah. eight, 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 zero, zero. Done. Right. And seven. <coughs> Easy. Careful still, there. Stuff will kill you. That peanuts are coming back up. <laughs> Gross. 